So, as everyone knows, Doctor Who is my all-time favourite science fiction television show of all time. I am a Whovian, I am a Doctor Who fanatic, I am a big, fat, fucking dork. Doctor Who was originally produced um, by the BBC. Um, the show has been going on since uh, 1963. Um, the concept of the show is that there is this man called the Doctor, simply the Doctor, um, who is from a race of beings called the Time Lords. Um, they reside or res resided resolved, resided on a planet that was called Gallifrey. And originally, it was uh, the Doctor was played by an old man, William Hartnell, uh, who had a granddaughter. And the Doctor travels around in a TARDIS. And the TARDIS is... Um, well, TARDIS is an acronym, uh, T-A-R-D-I-S, Time and Relative Dimensions in Space. And it's a time and space machine that looks like an old police box, um, which was a metro... Well, they had them in the 50s and 60s um, in, in Britain, well, in England. Um, and it looks kind of like... Well, it had a telephone in it, and there was like a cupboard that... It's hard to explain, unless you've seen one. Um, so the, the TARDIS can travel in time and space um, the Doctor can regenerate um, which means that the Time Lord race when they die and it was brilliant actual plot in real life it was a brilliant plot device um, for the different actors when they want to leave the show that the Doctor can regenerate um, and basically when the Doctor dies or when a Time Lord dies they like a light comes over their body and they look like someone else with a different personality but they're the same person with the same memories and all that brilliant brilliant device so far there's been 10 actors um that have played the doctor the doctor has multiple companions um mostly female mostly attractive females um the one of the things that got the show on the map was a creature called the Daleks. And the Daleks look kind of like this. Um, that's a Dalek. They were, um, they looked like big pepper um, dustbins. Uh, and one side had like a plunger and the other side of the body had a little stick that shot out uh, ray, uh, like a ray gun type thing. Um, brilliant. And they walked around, exterminate, we will exterminate you. Really scary. Um, you know, and it's sort of the cliche that everyone watched the show either buried in their mother's breasts or from behind the fur or something like that. I never did that. Um, I always thought that they were that they were brilliant. The, the Daleks were. And then there's the Cybermen, which look like um, they're kind of cybernetic people that, that they're they've been taken over, and the only way to kill them is with gold or was until the new series. Um, and just a bunch of other people. The doctor, uh, the doctor travels with, um, he has a device uh, called a sonic screwdriver, um, which the sonic screwdriver in the new series looks a lot like this, um, and it, uh, you know, um, makes that noise, and, uh, you know, so, and this right here, if you have a sonic, the one thing that Doctor Who will teach you is if you have a sonic screwdriver, you can get yourself out of any fucking difficulty in the world just by a sonic screwdriver just the application of sonic you will sonic sonic you will what the fuck am i trying to say sonic force um you can open locks you can reprogram robots you can re route circuitry all kinds of fun things with a, with a with a um, sonic screwdriver um what else about Doctor Who? Uh, it's such a... It's been on... There's literally hundreds and hundreds of episodes. Um, <coughs> Doctor Who... A brilliant show. It was off the air um, for a while, from about 1989 to 2005. Um, and they said, no, we're not doing it anymore. And the BBC Wales now produces it. And the special effects now are wonderful. Originally, um, the show was real campy. Um, the special effects were really dodgy, um, you know, using tin foil and hot glue 
um, application guns, um, PVC type suits, and just it was perversely wonderful. Um, but Doctor Who is one of the greatest shows, one of the greatest science fiction shows of all time. I'm leaving a lot out um, because there's just so much um, about Doctor Who. But if you're a Doctor Who fan, um, if you fancy Doctor Who, um, if you are a closet dork, not just Doctor Who, but Star Trek, Star Trek The Next Generation, um, The Prisoner, The Avengers, Sliders, Red Dwarf, even though it's kind of a comedy science fiction, um, you know, any, any science fiction show you like, um, I'd love to hear from you. Um, I'm a big fat fucking dork ball um, when it comes to that stuff. I have collections of all kinds. I have a, a whole, literally a whole pile of things here that I was going to show you um, just briefly. There was, you know, a Doctor Who card game. There was, um, you know, action figures. This one is uh, Sylvester McCoy, uh, which was the eighth Doctor. There have been um, books, <coughs> novels. Um, this was an encyclopedia, there's been uh, computer games, there's been CDs of the theme song, and for big, big dorks like me, there was a role-playing game. This is long since out of print. Oh, on the back, here is the TARDIS. That is what the TARDIS looks like. This is a police box. See, up close, that is what a police box looks like. Um, he had a robot dog for a while. Uh, it was called K9. Brilliant there, play on words. Um, the fourth doctor travelled uh, and wore a big long scarf, which I actually have back there, you can see. Um, <clears throat> which I knitted, knit or knit or however the fuck you say it, by myself. Um, so yeah, Doctor Who, brilliant show. Um, one of the greatest inventions in the minds of people uh, in the world of science fiction. Um, I just, I can't say enough about Doctor Who. Um, I just remembered that I was smoking plum. Um, and that he didn't want to go out on me. Um, so, but yeah, so that's Doctor Who in a nutshell. Um, if you like Doctor Who, let me know. If you like science fiction in general, let me know. And if you think that this video was a complete fucking waste of time, um, let me know that too. Um, I'm just still starting out with these things, so I don't really know, you know, what it is that people want to see. Um, I know what I'd like to see, and I like random, just people ran, bla rambling on, uh, much like I'm doing. Um, I actually have um, ideas in the works for more well-produced videos, um, uh, skits and things like that, doing different voices and, um, and what have you. Um, so yeah, so that's Doctor Who in a nutshell. Um, I hope I haven't completely confused you. If you've never seen the show, all of that probably sounded absolutely insane. Um, but watch the show. Um, it comes on here in America on the Sci-Fi Channel on Fridays at 8 o'clock. Um, and then the spin-off show Torchwood comes on uh, on BBC America on Saturdays. So uh, from... Yeah, so... Yeah.